today is Saturday. Um, I think it's April the 4th, babe? Or 5th? The first was Wednesday. So it's second, third. I think it's April 3rd. I don't know. Anyways, guys, how are you guys feeling this morning? I look a hot mess. Literally just got on my night, my night little shirt, nightgown. <sighs> That's it. I'm watching Miss Cogeniality. It's on free form right now. It's like in the morning. They had Miss Cogeniality one, and then number two is coming on, and then they got Big Mama House on. A whole bunch of movies on today. I don't understand why they only play movies on the weekends. Don't they know that we are in lockdown? That we need to watch movies all throughout the week right now? Okay, it's a tough time. Oh, today's the fourth. But yeah, guys, again, if you're going to watch the news, watch it for a little while. Watch a little bit of the news and just get your update to see what else is going on in the world or in your area. Turn the news off so it won't worry you all day. Okay. Listen, look at regular TV. I didn't even watch the news today. Rayshawn woke up and told me the update. Yeah, so, as long as he told me the update, I was cool. I don't need to watch you. Cause, you know, because I was smart, you guys. I actually downloaded our local news phone app. So, we ain't got to spend much time watching the news. Just download your local news app. Learn what you need to learn. Turn it off and, and go about your day. Yeah, that's it. Stop making yourself so complicated and stop stressing your own stuff out because guess what? You can't change nothing that's going on in the world. There's nothing in the world that you could change right now. So just relax, okay? Also, guys, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, we're in a house all day. It's a beautiful day outside. It's sunny. Um, the the air is crisp out there today. Crisp air. It's 72, right now. It's 72 degrees outside, so it's a very beautiful day. I wish that we could be out enjoying it, but that's okay. We'll be able to enjoy it soon. I'd rather be safe right now. But um, yeah, I don't really have much planned. Who knows? So we'll just show yeah, you. Like, no, nobody has anything planned. Well, we said somebody could be planning to do something in their house. They could be built, doing their garden. Who knows? But. I'll just show you what we do today. That's it. So guys, this is our garage. It's still a lot of stuff in here that I have to go through. <laughs> so this is the pile of stuff that we still have. A pile of boxes. I got stuff over here that I probably still need to go through. Um, 
the microwave that we don't need. Ha, huh, look. Our engagement pictures that we sent everybody. That's kind of funny. Oh, me and me, me and Bae. Yeah, she's so um, just a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Like, just stuff everywhere. Upstairs. Um, I'm by my table. I think it's on the floor. I actually need to take this in the house and wash it. It's one of my favorite blankets. And we got two things of tissue left. <laughs> got a kitchen, a kitchen aid mixer that I've never even opened. Ketchup, water, some charcoals, my deep freezer. Full of stuff. Got some plates and bowls. So yeah, this is my little garage. I got a couple of rose paper towels left. Got lots of cups and pans. So yeah guys, my garage chicken. I got some chicken thighs right here thrown out and I got some little wings. So I'm gonna cook them on for Sunday. But the chicken thighs I'm cooking tonight. And tonight we're making uh, tandoori chicken. It's ginger and garlic marinade. I mean, you could use this for like a um, a sauce or you could, like you said, put it on a grill if you want. Um, I did have some. We're going to be doing that with some jasmine rice tonight. So yeah, dinner should be pretty good. Yeah, I'm about to make me a little shrimp little snack. Put me some butter in here. Put a little bit of pepper. Put a little bit of garlic. Just a little. Not a little garlic because y'all know the burps be fat. So I'm gonna make sure we get this all coated down real good in here. A low carb snack. Thousand years later, six and a half hours later, y'all. So I got up, I got up to go, you know, get ready. Thought I was about to cook my tandoori chicken, but my chicken thighs are still frozen, so I won't be cooking that today. So, what I'm gonna do is before I go to bed, I'm just gonna make sure I season the chicken and put the tandoori marinade on it and just let it sit in the refrigerator overnight, and I'll cook that tomorrow. So that's what we have tomorrow, y'all. I'm so disappointed because I really wanted today. What is a girl to do? I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. But it's my fault because I should have took the chicken out last night instead of taking it out this morning. I don't know. I didn't think it was gonna take that long to thaw out. Dang. But yeah, so I'm gonna be cooking chicken tandoori today. Whatever. You know how I go. 
So guys, right here, I'm just about to get ready to marinate my chicken for my chicken tandoori. So I'm just going to get it prepped up for tomorrow. Um, I had some chicken thighs. I think I had like four or five thighs in this bag. Just trying to rinse them. Well, they were already clean before I put them in the bag. But I'm just going to uh, rinse them again. Um, and yeah, I'm a little mad that I couldn't cook this tonight because it wasn't thought in time. Because we like to eat dinner like between 6 and 7. So it was already around this time of me cleaning it. It was already like 7 o'clock and it was just too late to be trying to cook something. So I'm going to cut them in half because they were pretty long thighs. Um, I did leave some fat on some of them because it gives it a good crisp when you when you cook in these. So that be bomb or whatever. So right now I'm going to put some black pepper up here. Um, you want to put a nice amount of black pepper and also I'm going to add some salt. Um, you can also use garlic if you would like add garlic to it or something like that. And you can also, if you have Greek yogurt, you can put some Greek yogurt or some sour cream in here just to give it some extra flavor. But you don't want to put too many seasonings since we are going to be using um, a canned marinade. And you don't want to put have too much salt going on up in here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and pour this marinade up here. Like I said, this this brand is really good. I think it's called Patek, Patek, Patek. I don't know. I forgot. But I like this brand. And I like their, their chicken masala and butter chicken marinade. It's really, really good.